it's your boy Dior, and I'm back for another video, man. Let's go ahead and get into today's video, bro. Women, women like guys who, you know what I'm saying? Women like guys who are sexually disciplined, man. Bro, it's a fucking fly in my car. But women like guys who are sexually disciplined, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, they love guys who don't give a fuck about them, who don't even look at them, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when you, when you a guy, most guys, if you put it like this on the spectrum, you put it like this, most guys, as soon as they see a pre, pretty female, let me give y'all a, a scenario, bro. As soon as, let's just say you work, in a, you work at a restaurant, a fast food place, wherever, right? You the guy, it's, it's, it may be 10 females in there, but two or three might be nines or tens, and the rest of them might be six or seven and below right okay boom you got nines and tens of course they know they look good you know what i'm saying and there's guys in there like oh these are the best looking females so boom i'm gonna sit here and go after them right try to get their number try to holler at them flirt with them they walk by let me make an excuse to talk to them right but that's just where y'all fuck up at most guys gonna do that they expecting that man females not dumb you know what I'm saying? Not so you can't push up and talk to girls. Girls like dudes that's confident, assertive, and know what they want. But the thing is, females don't want guys that are thirsty, man. If you jump at just because they look good, you jumping at them, trying to talk to them every chance you get, all that type of stuff, man, it's bad for you. You know what I'm saying? They, they pay attention to that shit. And the minute that they see you going from every second and shit like that, they got they paying attention to that shit. And they why why you going for them, paying attention, trying to flirt with them, trying to get the number, trying to crush, trying to do everything you could do to get her. They looking at a dude that's not paying attention to her. Like, for example, me. I could throw myself in the equation cause this fits perfect for me. You know what I'm saying? I did this before I done work somewhere. I see types of dudes, like I conversate with them, they like, damn, it ain't no cute females in here for real. And I'm just like, damn. You know what I'm saying? It's only about two or three. I, I mess with her. She get crushed. You know what I'm saying? It's just my opinion and thoughts, right? But that whole time, they'd be um, they'd be flirting and talking to the girls or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They'd be talking and flirting with the girls. Meanwhile, why I never said one word to none of them. Of course, they're going to pay attention to me or wonder, like, why I ain't pushed up on them or wonder why I ain't fuck with them curious and like wondering about the mysterious nigga rather than nigga that's all in their face and shit they not caring about that or if they do get a nigga a number that's all in their face or whatever they can get bored eventually y'all they can get bored eventually and want something better want something new want something that's more like i say more mysterious but if that's for it that's right there being mysterious how to be more mysterious with women that's that's for another video we're gonna talk about that in a whole another video so you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember that. I'm going to drop a vid on that soon. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Being more sexually attractive to women. How to be more sexually attractive to women while being disciplined. You know what I'm saying? They going to go down. They fucking with niggas who don't care about the sex. Who not even worry about them. Like, for example, a nigga like me, bro, like... Like, females are always going to be around, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's, it don't matter, bro. Females not going nowhere. So you might as well just focus on the bed, you know. Just keep grinding, working out, getting, like, getting in shape physically. But it, like I say, you got to grow. You got to grow 100% in everywhere, every position, you know what I'm saying? You can't just level up physically. You can't just level up mentally. It got to be mentally. And the brain, it got to be physically. You know what I'm saying? Females like a nigga that look good. It's always on his grind and know what he want to do. And it's always worried about himself. Females don't like niggas that's always chasing behind them and shit. Even though they might like the attention seeking. And they might fuck with it. Seem like they like it and shit like that. But low key, bro, they just... Using you for attention and validation at the end of the day, like, you don't want that. You want females wanting you because you're not paying them enough attention. They like, damn, this nigga so locked down on his goals and shit. 
Like, when is he going to, uh, when is he going to pay attention to me? When is he going to spend time with me? You know what I'm saying? When is he going to spend time with me? That's what y'all needs got to understand, like. It's almost like you got to go against the grain with these women to make them want you more. It's like, a, it's like being desirable. Your looks make you more desirable. Being more mature on your grind, focus. Being locked in, focus on your goals, having ambition. That shit makes you all more desirable to women. They pay attention to that. And the women that don't see it, fuck them. Let them goddamn continue to do what they want to do. Drink every day, smoke, whatever. Smoke weed every day besides getting on the grind and shit. Like, that's just what it's all about. Y'all see me, like, I ain't been over here like that. But like I said, I got like four, five, six videos dropping for y'all, man. I'm back over here now. If y'all ain't been on my reaction channel like that, man, y'all need to go tap in Elite Dior. Type that in, Elite Dior or Dior Elite. Same thing if y'all only follow me on Instagram, my Instagram, Dior Elite. Y'all can keep up when I'm dropping. You know what I'm saying? Leak Thoughts is my second Instagram page. I'm building that shit up too. So y'all can go down for this channel. Leak Thoughts on Instagram. So y'all can tap in when I'm dropping this shit. And I post on my story when I'm dropping. But I don't even promote and spam like that. Even though I know I'm building a platform. But I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't care because the right people going to see my videos and content for real, for real. That's why I don't be tripping, bro. I do not be tripping, y'all. I'm like one of the most humble niggas y'all could ever meet. One of the humble, the most humble niggas y'all can meet ever. Like I say, I do this vlogging YouTube shit. Like, I do this shit genuinely. I just do this shit really to help niggas out and to motivate niggas, help niggas get on their grind and, you know what I'm saying, inform niggas on topics and shit. Like, how to self improve, what you should do to self improve, what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying, giving tips and game, how to talk to females. But mostly self-improvement on this channel, man. I know we talk about girls a lot, but more of the story, it, it narrows down to basically self-improvement. Everything ain't about females on this channel. That's what I want y'all to know. Y'all gonna see as I do more videos. I give Riz game and all that type of shit, but... You know what I'm saying? If you ain't, ain't self-improve yourself, you're not gonna get no women or don't even, don't even need to be worried about women, to be honest. You need to self-improve while you're getting women or self-improve first. Go ghost and then pop back out trying to get women and shit like that. Get your emotion in game. Worry about making money and shit. And like I say, developing yourself physically. Going to the gym. Like last week, I went to the gym two times. And then this week, I think I went one time. So three times. Two times during the week. And then when the weekend hit, I went one time. I be working and shit, filming, doing other shit. So I had went three times um, this week. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go more. I've been working on eating healthier and shit like that. Because I ain't, I ain't like no fat ass nigga, you know what I'm saying? I just want to lose about 10 to 15 pounds, maybe 20, if I can get to that. But you might be somebody that need to lose 50 pounds to 60. You know what I'm saying? You got to work harder. Y'all just got to have discipline. Just like when it comes to creating these videos to be consistent and shit. You got to goddamn be filming every day or either filming a bunch of vlogs whenever you do decide to film so you can drop every day. Or if you got down selling a product, you got to make sure you, you hustling to your clients. You got your business cards and shit going. You out at public places trying to, you know what I'm saying, get going and shit. It can't be, it can't be, it ain't no, it ain't no time to waste, y'all. I keep telling y'all, like, it ain't no time to waste. Now it's like, what is it, it's like May now? It's like May, finna be June. In August, I'm going, I'm going back to school again, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I'm in college and shit, still on this YouTube shit, grinding. Y'all niggas need to know, like, I'm finna be dropping, I got Big hella content ideas dealing with females. I'm gonna have females in the vids and shit. But on top, I'm gonna be doing the vlogs. Just me. Like, I'm the main content, so I don't want y'all niggas to ever think, like, I'm gonna need to pull up on a female and just drop a video. Like, no. 
If y'all see a female in my vid, it's a plus. See, I better run them up if y'all want more, but it's just going to be me and my vid. Soon we're going to be doing some reactions, you know what I'm saying? Um, reactions, talk about Riz. All the type of shit dealing with talking to females. I got y'all. It's not the only type of content I'm finna be doing, but just know this shit is a, is a, um, is a journey. I'm not rushing to blow up none of that shit. A lot of niggas fail when they, some niggas might pass you in life. But it don't mean that the niggas might pay. The faster they pass you, niggas fall off just as quick, man. So that thing actually take time to build their fan base, to build character, show characteristics in their videos, actually have people fucking with them for them. That might blow off of a trend and shit, doing whatever popping. Yeah, that shit cool for the moment, but you're going to fall off eventually. And over here, man, I ain't worried about how fast subscribers grow. I know if y'all love me and follow me, y'all going to subscribe, bro. Y'all some real niggas. Y'all going to subscribe, you know what I'm saying, based off the content and the conversation and the, the mental thought process, man. Y'all know I ain't worried about subscribers, so I know y'all going to come. I know everything, the views and shit going to come. People that's consistently tapping in. I fuck with y'all. I love y'all, man. From the bottom of my heart. It won't keep dropping. Now, I don't know, like, if I'm going to drop every day. But like I say, when I vlog, I'm going to film multiple videos in a day. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we working for real, for real. We working. It, it ain't really on me. It's really up to y'all, bro. It's really up to y'all. I thank y'all for tapping in if you're tapping in. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to take this shit to the next level. Come August, I'm moving in apartment coming soon. Man. Another apartment coming soon. I know y'all seen in the past, I done had two apartments when I was at another college. I used to be at Albany State University. You know what I'm saying? But I'm transferring to finish my degree to graduate. Got about a year and a half left. You know what I'm saying? And it's just gonna be my third apartment. So shout out to God for blessing me to be able to let me do this type of shit. Cause everybody can't do it, man. Everybody can't do it. No, I'm just being humble, waiting on my time to blow up and shit on YouTube and social media. Cause I haven't been on this shit for a few years. I know on this channel, I just made this channel. I had it less than a year, but I got other channels. Y'all need to tap into my IG and look me up on Instagram and YouTube, Leak Dior. I got a main channel. It got about almost 2K subscribers. We're going crazy over there. Reaction vlogs, all that type of shit. But over here, we building the vlogs and shit just on self-improvement, talking about girls and life experiences. So hopefully y'all tap in, bro. I know the right people gonna see my videos, man. Y'all run me up and we, we never gonna start the content over here. You said we never gonna start the content. Now, y'all can check out my vlog channel, my regular vlog channel called Dior Vlogs. I'm going to be dropping vlogs over there when I get to college with females. I I, fuck, I talk to a girl now. We've been getting locked in and shit like that. We've been locked in for a little minute and vibing. I got a few vlogs with her. I'm about to drop over there at Dior Vlogs. Go pause the video if you got to. Go look it up, Dior Vlogs. It got about 100 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop like, regular vlogs over there. But this right here, this China straight self-improvement and shit. But here, yeah, y'all. Like, making yourself desire, more desirable to women. Not being available to every woman that tries to talk to you. Or not being in every girl face. That make them want you more. Make them want you more, y'all. Like, that's why when I see pretty females, bro, it's okay. Like, you ain't got to be thirsty. All in their face. Uh, uh, uh. You ain't gotta be doing all that. I just chill, do what I normally do. Like, it's just like talking to your homeboy. Like, what's going on type shit. Like, getting to know somebody. If a female wants you bad enough, bro, she'll push up on you. She'll come to holler at you. She'll make you notice her. Like, damn, nigga, notice me. I go through this shit all the time. Like, I, I don't even pay attention to pretty females and they, they come to me they get in my face like nigga do you see me type shit you ain't always gotta go after them bro and females that females that believe you always gotta holler at them try to get their number and shit i guess they just gonna miss out they so used to niggas being thirsty over them you know what i'm saying always trying to 
had sex with them, fuck them, trying to get them to link. I'm not even, I'm not that type of nigga, so they ain't never see a nigga like me trying to do that. See, I need you gotta move smarter, move different. Moving different gonna set you apart from everybody else. Most importantly, moving different gonna put you higher in the spectrum than all these other niggas, you know what I'm saying? All these other niggas be desperate in, in every female face. It makes you high value when you don't be in every female face. But that, that's all I got for y'all today, man. I ain't gonna make this video too long. I love y'all. We gone. Make sure y'all keep grinding and keep hustling. If you're on school, stay focused, locked in. If you got a business, keep grinding every day, don't. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you lose and sleep over the grind, man. That's what you gotta do to come out on top. To be in that top 1% financial wise, you gotta be in the top 1%. Good at something in the world. Or either you gotta be willing to do something that other people are too lazy to do but they can obtain but they're too lazy to do it but you willing to do it so it's gonna put you in that top one percent good at that thing that you're doing and when you're in that top one percent good at something it puts you in the top one percent financial wise remember that y'all i'm gonna leave y'all with that message uh we gone uh, i'm probably filming another vlog today i'm finna go pick up a little shawty God I've been fucking with. I need to go get some equipment for the main channel, Leak Dior. I'm probably going to pick up like a little ring light. You know what I'm saying? Uh, adapter. And a blue snowball mic for when I do my reaction. So the quality and audio is so much better in the green screen. You know what I'm saying? I had a green screen before, but that bitch had fucked up in my last apartment. When I was when I was moving, the, when I was transporting it, the shit had, like the metal shit done had bent. That was holding the green screen clips up. That was holding the clips and the green screen up in the air. The metal bars had bent. So I gotta go get another green screen, y'all. I might vlog today. But, hey, if I do vlog, it's gonna be on Dior Vlogs. You know what I'm saying? Go search up Dior Vlogs and subscribe to the channel. That's gonna be on my regular vlog channel, y'all. I see y'all in this video. We gone. I love y'all niggas. We out. I see y'all tomorrow, man. Y'all let me know what, what time y'all think I should drop. On my main channel, I'll be dropping at 9 p.m. Do y'all want these videos in the morning? Or do y'all, would y'all want to have these videos like mid-evening or nighttime? I kind of want to drop them in the morning or early or some shit. But we'll, we'll figure it out, you know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all next video. We gone. I love y'all.